I'm here to absolutely oppose Aboriginal people going into a racist British constitution. Um, the rest of our people are here today with the same message and we have people all over the country who've been saying this message and um, here to counteract um, the Uluru statement from the heart, which we think is rubbish. Um, the whole process is completely flawed and it has been from the get-go and it's against the interests of First Nations people from all over this nation to go into a constitution that's racist and does not represent any rights or any future for our people. Um, we're here today, First Nations Rise Up, and it's a four-day event at the Aboriginal Ten Embassy starting today, and it's going to be going till Sunday. Um, and our message is First Nations people say no consent to constitutional recognition. And we're asking and we're telling Australia and the world, do not vote to put us into your Australian constitution. We do not want it, and you do not have the authority of First Nations people to do so. We are 3% of the population in our own country and this is because we have been decimated and violated since first contact. As, as previous speakers have mentioned, we've been killed and massacred and our numbers are small as a result of the horrific history of this country. And following on from my brother Clinton, you know, this is a disgusting process. It's come about through um, a notorious racist John Howard um, he tried to get constitutional recognition and that didn't get up. And then um, former Prime Minister Gillard started it up again with the expert panel. They weren't experts. Um, they were just a bunch of paid government people trying to sell us out and sell out our rights. They don't represent us. And on the question of sovereignty, they couldn't even be really bothered discussing it. Oh, it's a bit too hard. Aboriginal people don't understand sovereignty. Actually, we do. We do know that we have held this land in peace since time immemorial for thousands and thousands of years and generations. And we've walked tall and we've held onto a really old and strong law and culture. And it's the world's oldest living culture and it's the world's most sustainable culture and it's proven the test of time. And we do not want to go into a system that since the constitution has been on this land has systematically killed our people and so many bad laws have come across, you know, from this constitution which is at, counteractive to our own laws and it started down here at this monolithic white elephant down at the bottom opposite the Aboriginal Ten Embassy called Old Parliament House. They've done evil things, they've created acts through Australia that have decimated our people that have been an apartheid act and it really hasn't stopped for our people the bad laws that have been created by this government and these guys over here have done sickening acts and we need the world to know that we do not support constitutional recognition at all. We don't want to be in the constitution. We need to get rid of this racist constitution and we need to start from scratch because this system doesn't have 200 years left in it. The polar ice caps are melting and the rivers are dying and the animals are all getting killed and we're all getting sick through chemical poisons and we need a new future on this earth. We need to start, start something better for all of our children, you know, for all of our future generations and for ourselves. We cannot continue to live in a country that treats the First Nations people like lepers, you know, that we don't belong that all our children are getting taken away, that all our people are getting chucked in jail for, for nothing, you know, for minimal offences, that, you know, they're not a crime. This system is a crime, you know. It's, it's criminal in the world what's happening to Aboriginal people. And so we see that the Referendum Council are culprits. They're liable for the sickening actions that they've taken against our people. That's come through Prime Minister and Cabinet. We oppose what's been done. We oppose the recognition agenda. We oppose the recognised campaign, which has been seed funded by government, which is against their own constitution, because under the Australian constitution, you can only send out a 2,000 word 
pamphlet to each household for a yes or no campaign. And so how did all this government funding push a yes voice? You know, that didn't come from our communities. You know, it's a breach of their own processes and it's not right. And so now the recognised campaign is being funded by banks, big banks, funded by private prisons, funded by mining companies. Go to their page, you will see who's supporting it. And who's running the referendum council? It's all the retired politicians looking for a cushy job. You know, trying to run over the rights of First Nations people. And they've paid our people off at Uluru through this process. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's pathetic. You can't do it. You're breaching international law. You know, under the UNDRIP, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, you know, First Nations people do have a right to free, prior and informed consent. And none of this process has been about free, prior and informed consent. These meetings have been top secret. They haven't announced through the Referendum Council's own page the locations of where the meetings are held. They haven't been an open process where any member of our community who wants information can go. They've been pushing a one-sided agenda. No one's been allowed to talk about this. You know, they've tried to keep 100% control of a process that should be about free, prior and informed consent. It's not right. It's not okay and we are here to say no. Um, we do oppose it. We do ask, you know, that white Australia and anyone living in Australia, please, you know, look at this, start studying it, start trying to understand the Aboriginal perspective on this. We don't want to go in your racist constitution and to be honest, you guys don't need it either. It's not a good system. It's giving all the authority to people to create bad laws. They're doing terrible things to people. You know, get rid of these clowns. They're just representatives of the British Crown. You know, you never got any lawful process to set up a, a government on Aboriginal land. We haven't signed any treaties. You know, we First Nations people do own every square inch of this country and we've never ceded our rights to it and we will never cede our rights to it because we can't, it's our land. So we're asking, we need a new way of operating in this country and we need to get rid of this old constitution and we need to start afresh with something that we all create and it's got to be based on First Nations people, ownership, of the land and it's got to be based on justice. So we invite everyone, walk with us. You know, we're going to create a better space in this country. We don't need to go back to, a, to an old document that's got, you know, no Bill of Rights for humans. It's not about the people. It's about protecting corporations and big business and that's something that we see through the parliament all the time. They're not there for the people. They're there to protect big business and corporations and all the faceless people who run what's happening up here. And the Crown, you know, the Crown, they don't own anything here. It's just a foreign law. They can't put their foreign law over the top of our law. Our law has been here forever and it's sustainable and peaceful. We are peaceful people. We're sick of waiting for justice and we don't want to go into your constitution. So I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. And we're on beautiful country. And, you know, our First Nations mob all around Australia have been using the platforms we have available to us to share information in the absence of any opportunity to have a no voice. So we're using social media and that word's got all out all around our mob. And we do have a very strong impact on social media to bring understanding for our people because it's all we've got. And we're trying to fight our $800 million plus government propaganda campaign. And Uluru, you know, as, as Brother said, 300 so-called leaders, what a dodgy process that was. 180 of them were referendum council paid facilitators who didn't get paid when they went to Uluru because they got their TA and fares and their private jets. So those people do not represent, you know, the voice of our nations and they never did. And the dialogue process, everyone was government selected. Nobody was chosen by their community. So this did not even meet a, a basic democratic model. So how can we have a voice and how can that statement of the heart, it represents the interests of government, not what we want. We want our country back. It is our country. So we are peaceful to share our country with people as long as they can respect 
that we want our country protected and we don't want our rivers trashed and we don't want our trees decimated and we do want a future for all of us that starts based on peace and justice and moving forward into something that's much better for all of us on this land.